I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up another one of your great films, one of the great films, The Wild Bunch. Uh, that, 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 uh, for those of you, uh, they recently had a 40th anniversary screening of The Wild Bunch at the Million Dollar Theater at Los Angeles, and I think Ernie gave one of the most moving introductions by just pausing and starting with William Holden and Edmund O'Brien and Warren Oates and the whole list, and then he said, Something to the effect, I am the last man standing and I'm here to share this Western with you tonight. So it's just terrific. They were a great bunch. They were a great bunch. Talk, talk about working on that picture with Peck and Paul and that bunch. I mean, that must have been quite an experience. Well, you know, uh, pictures get to be like, like a family after a while. And it all depends on the family itself, how, how everything is working out and is everybody being pleasant to one another? Is uh, because you know it, it all depends on the one 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 rotten apple can make it terrible all the way through. You right. know what I mean? Right. But we had a group that, that was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, they go out and get drunk all night long, <laughs> and come back the next morning all sober and ready to go to work. You know. Uh, Peck and Paul was no better, <laughs> but no worse. <laughs> but he was a hell of a guy, a wonderful man, and he loved actors. I saw him spend hours with actors and to bring out what he what he thought was the right thing, you know, for, for them to do. And uh, uh, this was especially so when uh, Chris Christopherson and and Ali McGraw made a picture with me called. Uh, Convoy, yeah. And he would take hours. And as a matter of fact, when, when the picture was, was shown for the first time, Chris Christopherson was there, he said, I don't remember this picture. <laughs> I don't know where the hell was I? It's <laughs> lovely, you know? But uh, he was that kind of, an, uh, kind of a director who was, uh, he, he he was not a man who came up and said, I want this and this and this and this. You, as a person, called yourself an actor, you were prepared to be an actor. And as an actor, you brought to them, to him, as much as you possibly could for the part that you wanted to play. This is what a lot of people forget of these days. All I know is they got a Go, go like hell in a car and have sex like crazy and then explode everything else and call it entertainment. <laughs> I mean, where, where are we, boys? <laughs> but, you know, but with him, he expected you to know your work and carry it in. And then he'd tell you back from, you know, what, what he wanted from there on. But it was wonderful working with him and uh, a quiet man, uh, and, you know, people said, oh, he was this, he was that. Don't believe it. Peck, Sam Peck and Paul was one great man and a hell of a director. All right. Like all the rest of those wonderful people that I worked with uh, directing as, as well, but just marvelous, uh, just, just great. Bill Holden. What are you going to say? The prince of all, he was it. He was the nicest man you could ever want to work with or, or have things to do with, believe me, because he was a gentleman. He was a wonderful man. Yeah. 